Be true to yourself and what you represent before you can be true to anyone else. This is the advice Robert Iger received from his father, which became the most important advice of his life. Advice that Robert has applied in his journey to the top of the creative world as Disney's creative titan and CEO, setting the tone of success with the creation of a strategy that will serve Disney for years to come. Welcome to Scaling for Success. We're all about helping businesses grow profitably, scale, and move to the next level. If you're looking for consultancy and mentorship that really makes a difference, subscribe to our channel or visit the Scaling Management Consultant Group website, links in the description below. In today's video, we're looking at the leadership skills of Disney's former CEO, Robert A. Iger. When it comes to leadership and success, people often see the product in its finished form. In fact, a good number of people don't understand what it truly means to be a leader or the qualities and processing it takes to run a successful business, let alone a multi-billion dollar corporation like Disney. We often get lost in the process and try to play it safe, doing what's already been done, taking the road most traveled instead of feeding our creativity. Yet Bob Iger is not one of those people. Bob comes from humble beginnings, getting his start in entertainment as a studio supervisor for ABC, making $150 a week. Don't be too impressed, a studio supervisor isn't as impressive as it sounds. It's lower than a production assistant. In fact, a studio supervisor is the assistant of the production assistant, a far cry from the industry leader and titanic CEO that he is today. Now, what is impressive is the fact that in a 48-year career, Bob Iger went from the lowest possible position in television to the CEO of the second largest entertainment company in the world. What's even more impressive is Bob's process and approach to creativity in both business and his personal life. Here are some of Bob Iger's keys to being a successful leader. Using your time effectively. One of the most common used phrases is that timing is everything. It's important to give yourself time to complete all your tasks in a day. It's also important to give yourself quiet time to think without interruption. Solitude is key to creativity by unplugging yourself and having quiet time away from technology such as emails, your cell phone, television, the internet, and even other people. By adding this quiet time, it's possible to think about work, gain clarity, and be more focused, adding much needed structure and perspective to your plans for your day. It may not be the most relaxing quiet time because you're still thinking about work, but having the ability to only think about work and what needs to be done is an important part of adding structure to your day. Arrive at work early. Arriving to work early gives you more time to prepare, organize, and set your agenda. Early arrival also allows you to ease into your day. This gives you the chance to not be bombarded with items on your to-do list as soon as you arrive. Being the first person in the office also adds much needed solitude to your day. The early bird gets the worm. May sound cliche, but by putting in more time, you're often more prepared, and in more cases, you'll have a more productive day and be prepared for the tasks at hand. By arriving to work early, managing your time properly, and focusing on the tasks you need to do, it's often possible to leave early and give your mind a rest by focusing on things you enjoy instead of being stuck at the office late every day. Write down your goals. Having a clear understanding of what you wish to carry out in your company is vital to its success. Not only does writing things down bring your goals to life, but it also gives you something to look at and check back on. Having a clear understanding of your goals and tasks can make it easier to rank what needs to be accomplished by order of importance. Also adding structure to your day and improving time management. Then when you're done working, you can check back with your written list and see if you accomplished what needed to be accomplished on any given day. Focus on strategy. In 2005, when Disney decided it needed a new CEO, it became clear that Bob Iger was the only person internally that was qualified for the position. Bob then developed a strategy that would not only dictate the future of Disney and lay out future goals, but to allocate capital as well. The strategy that was presented to the board was threefold. Step one involved investing heavily in the high quality branded content of the company. Step two centered around utilizing technology to innovate content, improve storytelling, and ultimately create a better product. Step three was all about growing globally and deepening Disney's already broad connections in the markets around the world. By developing this three-part strategy, Bob was able to get the job as CEO, making the next step articulating the developed strategy to the company and implementing the strategy that was developed. This brings us to the next point. Clear communication. Strategy is only as good as your ability to articulate it. According to Bob Iger, one of the most important parts of implementing strategy and business growth is clear communication from the top down. In leadership, clarity is key. By letting people know what's expected of them, it fosters a culture of success and growth. 
Bob Iger accomplished this by developing an internal communication plan that was designed similar to that of a politician on a campaign trail. Bob developed his strategy and then took it around the world, from Florida to California to New York, from ABC News and Sales to ESPN to London and South America. Bob was able to explain why Disney was adopting these strategies, how the different arms of the corporation should adopt these strategies, and lastly, Bob was able to add value by stating the probable outcomes by using the strategy that had been developed as the future of the company and getting all his employees around the world to buy into that strategy. The Art of Negotiation a negotiation is ultimately two-way in its benefits. Negotiation is a big part of any business. When it comes to Bob Iger, Bob believes that negotiations should be expedient in nature and you should get the deal done quickly. According to Bob, the best way to do this is to be candid and direct, cut out the fluff and gain an essence of what it is you're trying to accomplish. A deal should also be two-way in benefits. Both parties should win and you should never walk into a negotiation attempting to base a deal with a winner-take-all mentality. By doing this, you're likely to make the negotiation more difficult and lengthier, because let's face it, who wants to walk out of a negotiation feeling like they were the loser? Lastly, fully understand what the person at the other side of the table desires. By doing this, you've got the ability to offer them something they want in the negotiation, expediting the process. Plus, by doing this, it may seem like you're conceding something, making everyone feel like a winner who got what they desired out of the deal. Final Thoughts Bob Iger is a risk taker, a user of strategy, and a creative all-in-one. Bob has added value to Disney that cannot be measured in dollars, but should be measured in leadership. He will be seen for generations to come as the man who bought Pixar, Lucasfilms, Marvel, and 21st Century Fox, cementing his place in history as a titan of entertainment and a business heavyweight by bringing back the creative spark and animation innovation that Disney almost lost. By using a simple three-part strategy and implementing it across the board, Bob has proved that while not all creatives are good leaders, all good leaders are creative. Under the leadership of Bob Iger, Disney has managed to flourish and remain the second largest entertainment company in the world, even during a global pandemic where its flagship attractions were closed for over a year. In truth, Bob Iger truly inspires creation with innovation in the most impressive ways. It's often the most successful people who can simplify the difficult and make it look easy. That's all we have time for in today's video, Disney's second in command, Robert A. Iger. Like this video if you found it helpful, and for more content just like this, subscribe to our channel or visit the Scaling Management Consultant Group website at scalinggrp.com.